This is Colby Talfus, the MLB Showdown Guru. This is our Play for the Card segment. During this segment, I look ahead at a certain section of the showdown population for 2012 and try to uh, project them to you guys and try to discuss them. And uh, Let's just get excited for the 2012 year uh, in this time. I know that a lot of us are playing with the 2011 sets right now. Uh, we're very excited, but tomorrow can never come soon enough for a lot of us. This week has been the week of first baseman, so why not look at the first baseman for 2012 and where they're projecting to be. Uh, right now it's Joey Votto and everybody else. Buster only put out a tweet that he was amazed that only one first baseman was in the first uh, 66 players, I believe, in wins above replacement. That is not a shocker to me. As we've analyzed the showdown cards the last few years, first base has always been the deepest position. It's always been the position uh, that traditionally costs the most uh, per player, but you also end up getting the most uh, hitting per player as well. So it's been a very odd position in that, but basically an average first baseman is going to be much better than an average catcher, which means above average catchers are going to have a lot more effect. I haven't seen the list. I don't look much into wins above replacement. My Just my take on it and my response to Buster only in that. Joey Votto is the player that does stand out head and shoulders when you look at the statistics. He's leading the league in on base, which means he's going to get an 11 if he can continue at that pace. He walks a bunch. He's got a ton of doubles at the moment, 32. He may have four or five on his chart as an 11. With 14 home runs, uh, if he keeps up a very similar pace, he'll end up being a 19 to 20. He's going to have to hit... Uh, significantly more home runs the second half to end up getting to that 18 to 20 mark. There's a big debate out there on what Joey Votto's speed should be, and I'm going to give a little bit of this back to the fans here. We've given him a speed A the last few years. I've been talked into it by people who've watched him more than I have and respect him uh, as a player, maybe a little bit more than I do. I think he's good. I, I have a tough time putting him in that elite category, but he's shoving it down my throat right now. But if you guys could just contact us, leave comments, uh, send us messages at Twitter, uh, at MLB Showdown Guru, on what you think Joey Votto's speed should be, uh, whether or not he earns a speed A, or whether or not you think he's actually closer to a speed B. Uh, let us know, because that's an interesting topic that I, I don't know if I'm always the most qualified for, and I want you guys to be satisfied with that. Um, after Joey Votto, where do I start to pick apart the mediocrity? Uh, it's really tough to tell. Um, it's hard to pick a spot, really. We have four players who are currently on pace to be tens, which is pretty low for first base standards. Usually we end up in the seven to nine range. I understand this is not going to be the 2009 class where we had uh, some of the real effective power hitters and Prince Fielder and uh, Ryan Howard and also Albert Pujols at first base. But there's no player with more than 15 home runs who plays first base right now. Uh, the only player who shows up on the MLB side is Adam Dunn, uh, and Paul Conurco plays first base for the White Sox, not Adam Dunn. So I doubt Adam Dunn will qualify. So what um, So what are we looking for for power? Is Adam LaRoche going to be the most powerful player at first base? Right now he is, according to the stats, and our cards are based off the stat. That's going to be really interesting. I hope somebody picks it up. I hope someone goes on a power tear. Uh, likely to share a will at some point. We keep hearing he's a second half player. We've heard that over the years. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting thing. Um, I don't think Ortiz is going to qualify at first base and he has a bunch. So where's the power going to come from? Root on your first baseman. Let's see if we can get somebody in the 35-40 range and maybe salvage this a little bit. Uh, on base percentage wise, there are some guys who are normally up there who are not currently. So, whether Adrian Gonzalez gets up to that 10 range, he's been at 10 for three straight years. Um, I'd really be sad to see him lose that since there aren't many players who can claim that. But we'll see. The thing cards end up being what they are. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt, I keep hearing good things about him. I have yet to been, be able to watch him play. His stats aren't wowing me. Uh, that 360 on base is nice. That's going to put him up in that 9 range. He only has 10 home runs, so he needs to hit a couple more to maybe get up to the 19 to 20 range uh, at the end of the year. Is it? I mean, to get excited about a 9, 19 to 20 is really uh, kind of depressing me right now. 
I'm hoping Albert Pujols gets on one of those uh, streaks. He's had um, three great cards. They all seem to be useful in their own way. Let's hope that uh, that he can just get up there and maybe get us 35, 40 home runs, get the on-base percentage up to where we know he can get it. Um, not a lot of people coming out of the woodwork like Casey Kochman did either uh, to just be an obscure, good combination of stats right now. Uh, that's really usually how we end up having good years is good players just really coming out of nowhere. And we don't have many. I, I've been looking over the stats, and they're just not there, and I apologize uh, that I can't present a bunch of entertaining players, but the class is not doing that for me right now. So root on your first baseman, and let's see if we can't get some good players there. I um, also want to send out a shout-out to at Rough Ride and Noel on our Twitter. He won Shots Friday. Picking Jose Bautista this past week. So that means he's going to get Jose Bautista and another pick. Um, he's currently tied for the all time lead with one. Three players are tied with one. And three Major League Baseball players are tied with one home run on Shots Friday. So send us a message using the hashtag Shots Friday. Send us somebody you think is going to hit a home run this coming Friday. That way you can celebrate, listen to some music, enjoy your Friday, and watch some baseball. If you guys could just keep in contact with us also using any of the contact information you can find on the blog, then we'd love to highlight some players that you actually want to hear about instead of me just sitting here awkwardly talking about how awful the first base class is. So we'd love to have some fan interaction. So hit the subscribe button so you can always get up-to-date information that's coming out in the Showdown community. You guys have a good rest of your weekend.